Hello, today we will start to review on the different concepts on decimals. Okay, let's try the first question. Arrange the following in descending order. For this one, we need to look first for the highest place value. In this example, we will look at the ones place. So it's 4, 9, 9, and 3. So among these four, the highest ones place value is the 9. Okay? But we have two numbers that has 9 on the ones unit. Therefore, we will try to move on to the second digit to find out which one is greater. Because the next digit now is on the tenth value and 4 is greater than 3. Which means the highest value is 9.43. Okay, but we need to arrange this take note in descending order. So we will be starting with the highest value. That's why we will start with 9.43. Obviously, the next number after 9.43 is 9.34. Okay? And then looking at the next two decimals, this is 4 and this is 3. So the next is 4.93. And lastly, 3.49. So again, when we are arranging, we look at first the highest place value. And then if they're the same, we just look at the next highest place place value. Okay? Let's move on to the next question. In this part, let's try to identify the greatest decimal. Okay? So, again, we need to look at the highest place value, which is the one's place in this given. So, we have an 8, a 9, a 9, and an 8. So technically, the 8 is now out of the picture because 9 is greater than 8. So we will now focus on these two numbers, the 9.18 and the 9. Now, because both of the numbers, um, once unit is 9, we will try to move on to the uh, next place value digit, which is 1. But for 9, there's none. So, automatic, the next unit for that is 0. And then, we compare the digit. So, definitely 1 is greater than 0. Therefore, the greatest value is 9.18. Third question. Which mathematical statement is correct? Okay, let's identify. So, 1.0 is equal to 0 0.1. Obviously, the ones you need are different. Therefore, these two are not correct. The next one, that 4 point, 0 0.45 rather, is greater than 0 0.50. Again, we look at the first digit, it's 0. So we go to the next digit, which is 4 and 5. You'll notice that 5 is greater than 4. So meaning, this statement is wrong. This should have been less than, not greater than. The next one is 0 0.33 is less than 0 0.30. So in this case, the first digit is 0, the same. So we proceed to the next digit, which is 3. Same again, but the last digit is 3 and 0. But if you notice again that the last digit, 3 of the first number, is greater than the last digit, 0 of the second number. Which means this statement is also incorrect. Finally, the last um, statement is 0 0.4 is greater than 0 0.32. Looking at the first digit, 0, so we proceed to the next. Therefore, 4 and 3 are the numbers that we need to compare. 
and 4 is greater than 3. Therefore, it's correct that the symbol used here is greater than. So this is the correct statement. Moving on to the fourth question. This time, which of the following numbers will complete the pattern? Okay, to complete the pattern here, we just need to identify what number because this is increasing. Okay, this is increasing. Therefore, we are adding a certain number to get the next number. So to find that, we need to subtract the second number to the first number if it's available. So we have a 0 0.56 minus 0 0.35. And when we subtract this, we will get a 1 and a 2 point, 0 0.21. Okay? So the answer here is 0 0.21. What is the 0 0.21 means? It means that that is the number that we will add to get the next number. So let's try. From 0 0.35, let's add 0 0.21 and that is a 6 5 and a 0 so that is correct okay and then we now add to 0 0.56 again another 0 0.21 so that will give us a 7 a 7 and a 0 here so we're now correct now, to get the missing number, the fourth number in this pattern, we just have 0 0.77 add 0 0.21 as well. So, the, the number is 890. So, therefore, the answer is 0 0.98 to complete this pattern. Remember, we can also subtract numbers to get the missing number in the pattern. The next question is, rounding the number to the nearest whole number. Okay, so the nearest whole number is the ones digit here. Okay, but because the number after the decimal point is 4, which is less than 5, therefore we will retain the one's digit which is seven and change everything now to zero so therefore that is 17 is our answer another problem on rounding off how do we round off an eight refer that so i think we need to correct that there so that is an 8.99999 to the nearest hundreds. First, we need to identify the digit on the hundreds place. So this is the ones, uh, the tens, the hundreds. So this is the hundreds place. Because the number on the right side is greater than 5, it means that we need to add 1 to the hundreds place. But if you make it 1, then it becomes 10. Then we will end up adding 1 on the 9. So this becomes again a 10. And then that becomes 0. And we add now again 1 on the whole number 8. So it becomes 9. So the answer here is just equal to 9. Second to the last question, let's compare these decimals. Is it greater, less than, or equal? Again, comparing the digits, zero, they're the same. So we try to move on to the next digit, which is six and zero. So therefore, we can now compare. We can say now that six is greater than zero. Therefore, 0 0.65 is greater than 0 0.65. 
And for our last question, Tammy, Kelly, and Jim love reading books. Tammy read for 7 and 75 hours. So Tammy read for 7.75 hours. Kelly read for 7.69 hours. And lastly, Jim read for 7.5 hours. Question, who spent the most time reading? So both of them spent more than 7 hours. So we need to go to the next number or next place value after once. We have now the tenths place. If we compare the tenths place, okay. Oh, sorry. If we compare the tenths place, that is not five, but it's the seven here that we compare there. We compare the seven, six, and five. We know that this is the greatest. Therefore, we can say that Tammy. Okay, spent the most number of hours reading. That's it for now. I hope you learned something in applying the concept you learned in Decimal. Thank you.